panhandle cleaning and restoration. Happy Friday Eve, Ohio Valley. Let's talk weather conditions. Stubborn clouds. I was expecting them, especially if you joined me during the noon hour today. A little bit of a changing pace, just kind of keeping everyone on their toes. Well, I was expecting the clouds to be out a bit earlier. They're finally starting to dissipate, and we can see that uh, extension of clouds clearing out with a time lapse of satellite imagery. Although Noble, Guernsey, Monroe, Tyler, Wetzel County saw the clouds uh, clear out in the sunshine a bit earlier, let's say comparative to Hancock, Jefferson, and Brook County. Why? Well, we're dealing with lake effect cloud coverage that even provided a stray sprinkle or two firing up across areas north of I-70 with a general northerly wind that's picking up the moisture over Lake Erie and providing the formation of clouds across the northern panhandle of West Virginia and far eastern Ohio, at least within our neck of the woods. Elsewhere, winds becoming a bit more variable and uh, basically not uniform because we actually have a stalled boundary starting to make its way back into our region before high pressure fully clears us out as we head into our finally Friday. It's going to be a fantastic looking day and we are reporting sunshine, although we still have the cloud effect over the Fort Henry Bridge in downtown Wheeling. Our temperatures have warmed a degree variable wind, but it's still more so blowing from the north. Mugginess and dew point temperatures still right around 60 degrees, so it is noticeable to some a trained person who knows and can distinctly tell Whenever the dew point is high, like myself, it did feel a little sick. But again, that's just my professional opinion, just because I can't stand the mugginess. High temperatures are where we are at least at right now. Mid to low 80, should be about 83. I'm happy, even with the overnight lows tomorrow morning. Mid to low 60s, where we should be. If you like the warmth, we have that for you, or at least I have that for you starting tomorrow into our weekend. We max out temperatures right around 90 degrees. We continue to see that warmer air continue on as we head into our Saturday and Sunday further into our next work week where temperatures could top off in the mid 90s. But the threat for rain is pretty much non-existent, especially through June, where we were like in the top 10 driest Junes and already through July 11 days in uh, seeing less than 0.14 inches in our one year to date surplus is now a deficit, especially across the Ohio River Valley. More so why we have the update from the drought monitor coming into us every Thursday. Now we're in a moderate drought across the Ohio River Valley. And I expect that to stay sadly with the gardens and the grasses needing water to themselves. Chances for rainfall a bit spawning and sporadic into early next week. Better chances by Wednesday and Thursday. So what does predictor have to show you? Not a whole lot. It's more so just the skies continuing to clear out as we head forward in through our finally Friday and into the afternoon. Have the sunglasses ready to go. Have the UV, well, the UV index will be very high. So if you're sitting out by the pool, if you have the day off, I envy you first off, but make sure you're applying that SPF 30 or more regularly. Temperatures into the weekend, low 90s, spotty shower, can't be ruled out come early next week. Mid 90s on Tuesday, mixing in sun and clouds. Chances for rainfall back in the forecast with temperatures cooling into the 80s Wednesday and Thursday.